ready. If we get any more ready, we're going to miss the actual wedding. Okay, here we go. Hold on, let me set the mood. Perfect timing, y'all. you up and get you to the nearest truck stop. Either of you know anything about engines? I know of an engine. Ah. <laughs> I'll get my tool <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm, I'm Grant, by the way. This is Kylie. Marjan. Thank God you're here, Marjan. That guy looks so familiar. So, Idaho plates, huh? You guys are a long way from home. Nope. This is our home. Really? You live here full time? Going on four years now. Wow. Has everything we need: kitchen, TV, bathrooms, room, and one in our apartment. Hey, we got the most. <coughs> How do I know this guy? You each other. That's uh, it's sweet. Thank God our fans think so. Your fans? Yeah, we're travel vloggers. Oh, you actually might know our Instagram: Next Door Nomads. We're still building the brand. That's cool. Uh, I'm on Insta. I'll follow you guys. So, what do you do for a living? You a mechanic? <laughs> Rank amateur, I'm afraid. I um, I used to be a firefighter. That's impressive. Yeah, that's run its course. Well, until you did some pro bono work on our smoking RV. <laughs> so bad. What do you think you're going to do next? I don't know. Um, I thought being out on the open road might help me find some clarity or purpose, but so far all I've found is just more road. Yep. Uh, okay, Grant, do me a favor and turn it over. Man, Marjan's yeah. jacket is so badass. Compressor seizing up, the belt stopped spinning, and that's why I started smoking. So, uh, can you fix it? Not a chance. I can't cut the belt, and you'll be able to drive her. But until you replace that belt, it'll be like you're in your own personal sauna. We, uh, we spent She's guarding me. Mary and Yellowstone. We are comfortable.
times. Me too. Crinkle cut. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration now recommends nine and three. Oh, okay. So. I love spicy food. Like this? What's the speed limit, son? It's 20. 25, I, I, I think. 25, you think? Why are you pushing 26 and a half? I am. You're drifting. This is definitely not my... Oh, Jesus Christ. This is definitely not my driver's ed experience. Son, do you know why I have a perfect driving record? Because you're an obsessive compulsive control freak? Because I always stay focused. Now, engage your right turn signal. Get ready to pull over. Do not Instagram while driving. Go towards those cans. No. You set up a parallel parking test? It's a parking simulator. Just think of those garbage cans as luxury SUVs. We don't have to parallel for the test. Well, I'm not preparing you for the test. I'm preparing you for life. Now, align the middle of the car with that can. Dad, I know. Okay. Turn the wheel 45 degrees. Be sure to mind your mirrors. Your, your mirrors. Uh -oh. You just hit a minivan. There could have been children. You told me they were SUVs. Yeah, I also told you to stay focused. It's hard with you chirping in my ear. I'm just trying to get your head on straight. I won't always be in the passenger seat when you get your license. Oh, you promise? Get out. I'm driving. Don't say that. Don't say that. That's me. And some guy named Ronan. Look, it's trending. I don't ride you because I enjoy it. I just do it because I'm trying to keep you safe. Dad? Dad, are you okay? Yeah, Holy shit. shit. Our car flew up the road. Did you say your car flew up the road? No, flew up. commercial break how's everybody doing where are people tuning in from Whew. these chips are spicy this episode is spicy i'm trying to live tweet i'm trying to live tweet and also keep track of everything this is very difficult i feel so bad for social media people Holy moly. Okay. Hi from Alabama. Someone is someone is tuning in from class. That's not very responsible. But I can't blame you. If I had Instagram live when I was in class, I'd probably be on it too. <laughs> well, so we got Mississippi. I'm wrestling, baby. You're looking at the champ. You're looking at the Lone Star champ, baby. Who should be my next victim? It might be Brian. It could be Rafa. Definitely not going to be Jim. Jim would break my arm off. Hello from Ireland. The UK. What up, baby? Someone is watching this while driving. No. We do not condone that here. I'm going to need a couple more weeks of working out before I take on Rafa. But also Brian. Brian is so jacked. So my next my next matchup would be there very difficult.
I think we're about to come back on. We're never gonna stop ever. None of this is real. This show accused has incredible actors in it. Alright, here we go. Rescue time, baby. sitting on 10,000 volts. Okay, call utilities. Get them out of your ASAP. We have cut the power. Help us, please. Just hang on, Wesley. They're going to get you down Spice. as soon as they can. Dispatch to that. That's the father and the son on channel three. What are we looking at? The son says that his grandfather died of a heart attack called a widow maker. It sounds like his father's having the same thing. How much time do we have? Ten minutes. Top of the Good. We have an update on utilities. Spring Hollow is the closest team. They're 15, 20 minutes away. Doesn't sound okay, too good. Which means 30. All right. I want you to get the aerial up there. Move in close, but not too close. we got to assume that entire skin is juiced. Sir. All right, Paul Matei, you guys ever play an operation? Paul Paul to me at that game. Yeah, okay. bye, Dominic. You guys are playing in real life today. You guys are going up. Get a backboard and bucket some tape. Got it, got it. Yeah. Of course they play operation. Brother is Kevin's son is Wesley. Hey, Kevin, Wesley, we're going to get you out. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, we can hear you. My name's Captain Owen Strand. My team's going to take care of you. <laughs> You know, we, we actually have... Okay, I'm sure that 911 has told you... We actually had that line card line to look up at. Very careful to not touch so, anything that we yeah. understand. It was nice to actually look at something. How are you going to get us out of here if the car is electrified? That's not something you need to worry about, sir. Just sit back. Let's do our job. Chips. Done. Put it closer! Man, those are good. That's good, John. Closer! Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Arm 
Mateo, he's clear. He's clear. Get him on the backboard. All right, let's go. Feet first. There you go. Good job, sir. Good job. I got you. I got you. I got you. spell that word is it like that s p wow i spelled it literally s h p e a o wow you know english wasn't my best class tk wasn't having the traffic spiel i'm live tweeting while live instagramming this is like blowing social media minds right now it's blowing my mind. All right. How are we doing on the Twitter? How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? <sighs> so English was definitely not my first language. For those of you that don't know, uh, English was my third language. Um, first language was Russian, second language was Hebrew. Um, so that's why sometimes my English is a little goofy and wifey likes to make fun of me about it. And it's really, really funny. And she thinks it's very sweet. I think it's pretty hilarious. I'm not very good on, uh, at sayings like, like classic American sayings. Um, but you know, what can you do? How's everybody doing? <laughs> hey, Johnny Show is in the building. Go show some love to Johnny Show. Third language is staying there. <laughs> Johnny. How you doing? Um, wifey is not home right now. Otherwise, we'd be watching this together. Wifey is, surprise, surprise, working. She always works. She is incredible. Can't tell you on what, though. Um, so, like... After this commercial break, maybe some more Tarlos? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? That's what I'm thinking. What do you guys think? (sighs) 
Yoni! Yoni, ma corée! Ladies and gentlemen, we got Johnny Shower in the house. Lead guitarist and genius behind Nights in Stereo. A flat house, a cow, and a whole lot of stairs. Got animal control? Do not milk the cow. I'm talking to you, guy with the bowl of cereal. Introducing, oh look, these stairs are fun. The Cow Whisperer. Do you like Kenny G? All new animal control, Thursday on Fox. All right, here we go. Oh, taco, baby. Taco Tuesday. Taco Carlos, what are you doing? Tuesday. Oh, it's a prize for selling some food. Carlos. Well, I hope you brought enough tacos for everybody. I did, actually. Oh, you got us one one tacos? The gang get us one one tacos. You sir are a golden god. You want one, Jordan? Oh, no, no, I can't have any tacos, so I have a wedding to go to. Which reminds me, there is a cake tasting tomorrow at the house. Is that, um, really necessary? I mean, we're just going to go with the traditional white from the same panaderia that they both of my sisters can suggest. Yeah. Yeah. No, I want to throw another candidate into the mix. Another candidate? Yeah. I mean, look, I, I have a place on Alvarado Street that is gluten-free, sugar-free, and dairy-free. So I don't know about all that. <laughs> okay, you can laugh all you want, but you'd be shocked what you could do with monk fruit and teft these days. I'm sorry, did you say teft or teft? I, you know, I've seen it a thousand times. I do times. love teft. The party's going great, and then they but bring Ethiopian the and everybody dies in, them. and they get that high fructose corn syrup and then sugar crash, mm. and everybody starts heading for the exits. Mm. And all joy is just sucked out of the wedding. Imagine that. Mm. All right, so I promise you, just give it a chance. Tomorrow, 3 o'clock. Sir. Yeah, you know, TK just looks at his dad sometimes and just thinks. Just when I thought he couldn't get any more done, so he puts some fruit on our wedding cake. I believe it's just monk fruit. No possessive. Oh, what? Julian. Listen, he's just asking to try it, okay? There's no try with your dad. Only do. He's so controlling, he's out of control. It's true, he did strip him of their pocket squares like a field marshal. Dude's drunk on power. Was he when he thought about maybe, you know, talking to him, saying, stay down? I thought about it, but listen, honestly, I have never seen him this excited about anything in my entire life. Right? I don't want to make him feel bad. So we get to feel bad. Listen, you can say something to him, too. Mm-hmm. And kick off my son-in-law relationship with him back off? No, thanks. Well, I don't know. I mean, me and uh, Gracie's dad had some pretty tough conversations leading up to our wedding. All right. How'd that work out for you, <laughs> We didn't talk for two years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so that's uh. Yeah. Do, do, do. Well, you better say something soon, because I just missed that list for the reception. Well, let's just say if you're not having it on an actual yacht, this may not be the rock right. you want. <laughs> that's, 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 uh, okay, no, that's it. You guys I ate so many tacos that day. Too. Holy moly! And I know just a person to do it. So. Oh, the Spanish guy. Now you come to me. About the day of my son's wedding. We're sorry, Mama. He was wrong to exclude you. That's yeah, you fire. Didn't exclude me. I offered you my guidance, my wisdom, and you said no. What do you mean to hurt your feelings? We just wanted to make the wedding our own. Mm-hmm. So what changed? My father has gone insane. You let Owen get involved? Let him. He, he just sort of took over. So we were hoping that you could reel him in. He doesn't like our suits. He doesn't like our music. Now he wants to change the cake. Well, this all sounds very unfortunate, Mijos. You got a Spanish guitar and godfather? Are you kidding me? Suegros, it's too important. It is the foundation of a happy bond between the families. If Owen wants to take charge, I cannot interfere. Mama? He wants to go gluten free on the cake. You can't do that. No, no, no. No. Oh, hell no. Hell no, baby. Oh, oh. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. That man needs to be stopped. That's right. Now, nada de gluten free. Por favor. Ya se pasó ya. Por favor, baby. She's going to give him a spank. Mama Ray is to the rescue. Mama Ray is to the rescue. Hey, good news.
music in today's episode. Mind if I sit here? Sure. Like oh my god, she's no, from I'm Bros. Patty. I'm Patty. Marjong. I love her. Enchanted. Hey, hey. The usual, Chloe. She was Maybe so funny in Bros. Cook the bacon. <laughs> Real bacon don't fold. <laughs> yeah. Hey, also, side note, fuck what the box office looked like. Bros was amazing. <laughs> love that movie. Oh my god, I love That's that movie. Creepy. What? That's Ken Barbie over there, isn't it? Did you guys see Bros? I'm not a stalker, I swear. I'm just surreptitiously keeping Don't make me get started. Like I surreptitiously keep an eye on my cheating SOB for stars, but no, it's not like that. So what's it like? It's a long story. <laughs> You're my only company today, and he's to spin me a yarn. Okay, so I helped him with some engine trouble maybe 80 miles back, and they seemed so nice. Like, really nice. Like, Stepford nice. It's a movie from, like, the 50s or something. 1975, honey. Okay, so you get it, right? And then I get back to my bike, and I find this. This right to the point, isn't it? It doesn't jive with this happy couple I'm seeing on social media or the smiling woman feeding him french fries. I've been in bad situations, honey, and you adapt to survive. If you think something's going on, it's worth checking out. There she goes. If you want a word, now's your chance. Well, what if I'm wrong and she thinks I'm a kook? Well, what if you're right? Better you a kook than her dead. Yeah. <clears throat> Backpack TK. Okay. It's a good one. Hi. I'm Krishan. What are you doing here? I came for you, actually. I, I followed you guys here. Followed us? Why would you do that? Because you asked me to. Which I'm, I'm now realizing you did not. I'm sorry. This is a huge mistake. I swear I'm not a stalker. I'm sorry. I had to make sure that he wasn't listening. He does that sometimes. I knew that Grant was going to be angry about the RV breaking down and blame me. Oh, that's what the bruise is. Ow. He did that to you? I just should have let him stop into something. Oh, no, I hope Kelly, Marjan this is not your fault. I'm calling the cops. No, no, you can't. No, no, just kick Why him not? in the face. Because they won't do anything. I've tried. I... I called them once before outside Louisville, and they said that without evidence, it's just he said, she One said. And then they left. He almost killed me that night. Okay. What, what were you hoping I could do for you? I don't know. He just seemed so kind on the road and a firefighter. I thought that maybe you could save me. That you could take me away. I would, but my, my bike is a bobber. Oh, what? It's a stripped down and it can't fit two people. I am so stupid. No. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Get her an Uber, I'm let's so go. I bothered you. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. Get her an Uber. I promise you I am going to figure something out to make sure you're safe, okay? But the mechanic said that the RV is going to be ready in a few hours and then after that we're back on the road and I already know he's not going to like how much it's going to cost. Listen. Go. Don't worry, Finish baby. Marshawn got you. And I'm going to figure something Don't out. Don't worry. Marshawn got you, baby. I'm going to find you another ride out of here. Woo! Goddamn. That's a lot to unpack. Holy shit. Man. That guy needs to get kicked in the face <sighs> um how's everybody doing so it's such a f interesting 
That's what our show does so good. It's such an interesting back and forth. We got like the light sort of comedic stuff with the wedding planning. And then we have this really serious domestic violence storyline. Bravo. Bravo, Lone Star. Um, did I see that Chase is on this? Is my baby Chase here? Chase! Chase! That is so cool that we had... Uh, that we had the, the Spanish guitar Godfather. That is so dope. Got my little Godfather Funko Pop right here. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you for showing so much love for um, Asali, my very first um, animated project. Uh, dude, it's produced by Viola Davis and her hubby. And um, Whoopi Goldberg is in it. And um, it, it's just crazy. I just can't believe I'm so, gr so, so grateful to Maya Penn. If y'all don't know who Maya Penn is, please go check her out. You know, by the time she was 16, she's done three TED Talks. She's collaborated with Oprah, Michelle Obama. Um, she is a brilliant young mind, brilliant young activist, um, uh, fashion designer. Um, just, just such a beautiful example of what the younger generation, um, what the potential for them. Um, and she's, she's so incredible. And the fact that she asked me to be a part of this, um, I am forever grateful to you, Maya. Um, doing animation was so cool and so fun. Um, and uh, I, I can't even imagine what the finished product's gonna be like, um, but I'm sure it's gonna be amazing because Maya is super talented. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard of Viola Davis. She's definitely talented. Uh, and obviously everybody um, that's going to be a part of it, Whoopi Goldberg. Um, it's just it's just crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm just so, so grateful. Thank you for even being a part of, 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 your, of the vicinity of these mega stars. Um, I'm deeply, deeply, deeply humbled. Thank you. Woo! God damn. You know, sometimes shit happens and it's really, really cool, man. I'm just so fucking grateful. <sighs> oh shit, Lenny Kravitz hosting iHeart iHeart Music Awards. God damn. That is badass. I've actually after watching the Oscars, I've been on a Lenny kick again. Well, oh, I think we got Brian live tweeting. Hello. Let's see. How are we all doing? How are we, how are we all doing? Brian is live tweeting, everybody. Go show some Brian. Go show. Oh, here we go. Go show Brian some love on, on the Twitter. False alarm? Oh, no, more like a five alarm. Oh, dear. Yeah, so, uh, what are you up to after you finish your Denver omelet? <laughs> Denver? What Denver omelet has the bacon in it? I don't know, I'm not really a pork person, but, like, where are you headed to next? No, 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 we don't do Close pork. We don't do Denver, pork. Denver, as it happens, uh, Boulder. You would never in your cab for one more? Oh, man, if she's willing to sit through my Mandarin lessons. Wait, okay, so we just need to find a way in the next hour to separate her from French Charming. Yeah, that, that seems doable now. Okay, great. Promises and over delivers. Okay, okay, I have an idea. I need at least 10 minutes. Okay. I can buy you that, honey. How? Too flaky. Apples are almost. Incredible uh, fan gifted me this. They're from your friend. At the convention. She said to add an extra scoop of Central Perth lip balm. Y'all know how I feel about friends. Is that. Thank uh, you. Marshawn. Great. What are they? 
the odds? We're on an interstate going the same direction, so not exactly Powerball. Do we have to eat this? I'd rather just get back on the road. Babe, she's just being nice. And she saved our butts. Don't be rude. Oh, I would. Chill. Chill, bro. That was my favorite. Chill, bro. This is just television. Intervention. Yeah, banging my head against these floral arrangements. Hello? Andrea? What a nice surprise. I hope I'm not intruding. Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. I heard there was cake. Yes. And as a matter of fact, you should be involved in this. How is your palate? Decent. I yeah, should be modest. Mom's got one of the most sophisticated palates in the family. She's not worried. Is she now? I just know what I like. Well, you think the you cake. do. cake. See, because... Most people would shut so their noses at the idea of a vegan cake. They think it would be chalky and dry. And of course, vegan cake is delicious. 20 percent turnips. Turnips? Yeah, obviously, yeah, I know. Who puts turnips in a wedding cake? I know, I know. It sounds disgusting. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be my first choice. Well, maybe it won't be. But you know what? I am going to give the authority to the expert in the room, and whatever you decide, it's not going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> really? <laughs> With just one catch. What catch? You need to taste it blind. Yeah, it is. Is that really necessary? Well, not actually blindfolded, but yes, it's the only way to prevent confirmation bias. So please turn around. <laughs> turn around, turn around. Turn. You know, turn around, turn. You guys Owen is around. just pure silly. And Andrea, you may do the honors. Cake number one. That green shirt, though. Sweet, but not too sweet. Moist, but not dense. I'm getting notes of almond and carrot in the frosting. I have to admit it's not that bad. And I have to admit you completely nailed that. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Cake no. number two. Mmm. Ay, Dios mío. Por favor. The vanilla sponge is melting in my mouth. Is that spiced cream cheese and the buttercream my taste? You are unbelievable. <laughs> Number two, hands down. I'm sorry, Owen. You can't fake the real thing. Well, as it turns out, you clearly can. Surprise, Did surprise. You the vegan cake. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's one of the best cakes I've ever tasted. Come on, come on guys. Try it out. You boys have to try it. Come on. Right. Come in, though. All right. That's... All right, I'm going to cancel the other case. It's a very real oh, reaction. You, your stuff. you know what? I just know what I like. Well, now you're being modest. But I heard that you were struggling with the flower arrangement. Yes, yes. And look, I feel like it's missing something. Well, maybe I can help. Oh, I think that's more than enough. Don't, don't you think, Mom? Yeah, we, we want to keep it simple. Drama. That's what's missing. Yes. Something bold. Yes. Something that makes a statement. Something yeah. like, um... Orchids. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to the forest later. Would you mind coming? Uh, you try and keep me away. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> what just happened? The worst nightmare. That's what happened. This is going to be fun. <laughs> $1,457 for a freaking fan belt? You know. How, how the hell are we going to afford this, Kylie? We'll just have to post a few more videos this month on Instagram. Oh, yeah. And break in a whole 10 bucks. I knew we should have stopped in Tucson. If we max out the credit card, it's your ass. I'm going to kick this fucking guy's ass. That, that's who's ass. All right, let me chill, let me chill, let me chill, let me chill. You've got to be kidding me. What the hell, man? You got a problem, son? Yeah. You charged me 2,000 bucks and my arm is in worse shape than when I brought it in. It wasn't I short. Him right in the face. What are you talking about? I fixed that compressor myself. That was running just fine. I don't know what to tell you. Still giving you trouble? Yeah, now... Kick him in the it face. Won't turn over. Seriously? 
it was uh, starting just fine out on the road. Well, now it makes a sputtering sound and dies. Sputtering like a, or is it like a louder, like that, like the engine's trying to crank? Cranking, uh, uh, yes. Huh. So not the starter then. Uh, sounds like you should probably look at the engines. Good Somebody. episode. Real good. I just spent fourteen hundred bucks. How the heck did my car not start? Come on, man. This is no. ridiculous. Everything looks okay. Let's just check the fuse panel and be sure. Huh? What? Fuel pump relay was out. That's funny. It's almost like somebody unplugged it. <laughs> Had to put an end to the epic romance before its tragic ending. You little punk. She's always been weak. No matter what she says, she knows where she belongs. Who she belongs to. Just one, please, Marsh. classic in domestic violence it's it's such a man it's such a fucking it's such a terrible 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 situation oh poor girl man you know thank god this episode has a Thank God this episode has silly um, wedding planning stuff because that shit is heavy. <sighs> well, just tweeting with my with my friend Brian. Hello, Brian. Hello. How are you? Real good episode. It's a good one. How's everybody doing? Oh my god. Is Julian on this? Oh god, I'm, I'm signing off. If Julian is on this live, I'm signing off. Julian, are you on this live? Oh god. You know. As if I don't get enough of you at work. <sighs> there he is. There he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Fresh off of one of the hottest films of South by Southwest. Let's give it up for our boy, Julian Works. Getting stellar reviews from Hollywood Reporter getting stellar reviews from all over the place. Our boy Julian Works is a fucking star. Bravo. Mwah. Mm. Killing it this weekend. Everybody, look out. The film's called The Long Game. Our boy Shines. Got Dennis Quaid, Jay Hernandez. One of our favorite firefighters from... Station 19, Jane Ortiz. Bro, I could be your publicist. Anyways, much love to the homie. Julian is not getting on this live. Alright? I've had enough of him. He could he could he could be in the comments. Take a drink every time Ronan asks, how are we doing? <laughs> How are we doing, everybody? (laughs) 
Look at Brian. I'm watching the tweets while I'm at the gym. I'll be watching and live tweeting on the West Coast time. Now that is dedication. What a mensch. What a mensch. Here we go. America's falling in love with these four farmers. It's really hit me in the heart like this is real. And so are these city women. A man in a bell buckle cowboy hat is so sexy. Tomorrow, farmer wants a wife to the farms. What do we think of Oklahoma? Scooped up some vintage cowboy boots with Chase this last weekend. Uh, Y'all aren't ready to see them. So decisions must be made. I reckon it's that time. This is not fun for me. It's not easy for me. Me and my baby Chase did some all new damage on this fucking Damage. All right, here we go. Are they as exquisite as you can? God, better. We're going to put one of those on every single table. Except for the grooms, of course. On yours, we'll have three. Well, it's going to get really tumbly in there. Do we think that they could be bigger? No. No, no it's great. It's perfectly used. I think we can do 15% bigger. Get out of my head. I was going to say 15%. Guys, <laughs> it's beautiful, but it all also seems to be very expensive. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, no. They're on me. They're on us. No, no, I would never dream. Don't argue when you hear from Gabriel. On us? That's very nice of you guys, but money aside, this all feels like a lot. It's, it's not so much to get. Mom, we're going to have more flowers in the Fiesta Parade. You only get married once, mijo. Twice in your case, but only once to someone you love. That is very generous and we appreciate it, but we were hoping to go for something classy and easy, like roses and lilacs. And isn't that the point? Mom, mm-hmm. to do what we want? Well, maybe we can do them as accents. What do you think, Owen? Mm-hmm. I guess we could. We could put it in the arches. Would that be possible? Certainly. There's a flower arch now? A four, actually. I love flower arches. They're so <laughs> magical. Oh, so TK is viewing. We just love flower. Uh, uh, I don't. Dad, why not? I don't think kids are hearing us. We don't like flower arches or no. orchids. What we really liked was our pocket squares. No. no, Carlos, this isn't us. All right, Mark, this feels like us. Look, I know this is very stressful. It is. But trust me on this. When the big day comes and everything looks beautiful, you're going to thank us. That's right. And we're doing it all for you. No, you're not. Oh, my God. You are doing this for you so you can control everything like you always do. And I am sick of it. And, Dad, you are fired. Fired from what? From planning the wedding. Both of you are. You can't fire us because you didn't hire us. Exactly. TK had enough. Enough is enough. You're not going to talk to me? Enough is enough. Why should I? You were going to leave me. But I didn't. You mean you couldn't? I don't know what I was thinking. The idea of living without you, it is life because I love you so much. Babe, aren't you going to say anything? This girl's incredible deception. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Don't you dare cry. You do not get to cry. Do you understand me? Uh, do you understand? Yes. <laughs> What I'm trying to figure out is, when did you start skiing with that bitch? You just called Marjorie a bitch? Or before on the side of the road? I left her note on her motorcycle when we broke down. We were having such a bad fight, Grant, and you scared me. I just, I wanted a friend. Well, where's your friend now? Oh she God. abandoned you, just like everybody <sighs> abandons you, except me. I'm angry to Do you know right why? Because you're the only one who loves me. Because I'm the only one who can stand you. <sighs> this guy's clearly very good because he's got me very, very, very upset. mistreats a woman especially our girl Margo hey god yes oh and the one with the real sugar huh none of this hippie crap 
I'm way out of you. <laughs> oh, Holy, you thank you. Mm. Oh, mm. It's so good. Not, not as healthy as my hippie version, but what are you going to do? Yeah, well, don't worry. We'll hit that after the sugar crash. <laughs> really chafes me this notion that we're not hearing them it's like no yeah we hear you your ideas are just gold well at least it was their dull ideas yes exactly wait i'm sorry <sighs> what side are you on this isn't the first time i've been accused of not hearing my son when carlos came out to gabriel and me we were raised old school didn't have the experience of how to talk about that kind of stuff we loved our son, but we just didn't know what to say. So we said nothing. Mm. Well, he knows you accept him. Now he knows, but when I think about all those lost years, this is a very important scene, yeah. how much you must have hurt him. It's my biggest regret in life, Owen. He forgives you. He knows you love him. I know he does. <sighs> but this wedding... <laughs> forgiven for squeezing a little bit too hard. Yeah, well, that's my excuse anyway. So what's yours? Oof. That was a very important scene, 911 Lone Star. That was a very important Carly. and I'm beautiful. Fine. I didn't ask if you want anything. Get off your ass, you're staying where I can see you. I, dude, every time this guy's on the screen, God damn it, let me tweet. Andrea. Bravo. such an important scene to for, for two two parents with both uh lgbtq plus kids to have that conversation especially with all the fucking bullshit that's happening right now in the world beautiful beautiful anyways how are we doing everybody <laughs> If somebody is doing a drinking game, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. oh, what an episode. Listen, listen I, I just I just got I just gotta ask. I just gotta ask one more time. Do I ever steer you wrong? Do I ever steer you wrong? I got that Irish there for a second. Do I ever steer you wrong? Great episode. Again, such a beautiful balance. Oh, look, another color of iPhone came out. Wow. SMH. Um, anyways, this is a good episode. Also, look at that timing. Today's my first day off, and I don't know since when. Um, hold the phone. Somebody just asked, do I like Harry Styles? Will the people please answer? I can't, I can't answer that. question just deflated me. Do I like Harry Styles? <sighs> well, how are we doing, 
morning, everybody. <sighs> what an episode. We got Tarless Tuesday trending. We got Now One Lone Star trending. We got... Ronin Crandon. I mean, come on. That was so badass. Okay, thank you. We'll let you know if we need anything else. Everything go okay? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize how much I needed to see that. That was amazing. Left hook, right hook, fire extinguisher. I guess it helps to have video evidence. I'm glad. Thank you, Marshall. Everything. Good job, Natasha. Very good job. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. It was the right thing to do. And my Fuck experience, that guy. that's never made anybody hear some things. You know how you set out on the open? That's really got me amped up. Purpose? Let's go, Marsh. <laughs> I think you just found it. What's that? Rescuing people. You're my hero, Marsh. This girl killed it. Our girl Natasha killed it. <sighs> hey, mind if I come in? Sure. I was just having some tea. Carlos isn't around? No. Interesting timing, actually. His mom took him out to dinner about half an hour ago. What is that? Uh, extra virgin olive oil from Tuscany. I couldn't find an actual olive branch this hour and it lowers your LDLs so there's that can you tell me what kind of salad dressing I should have now too <laughs> what a salad I, I deserve that um, I wanted to talk to you about how I've gone slightly overboard with wedding planning slightly overboard Leo went less overboard on the Titanic I admit it I have been in so far I got a Titanic reference I thought I was doing it for you but mostly I was doing it for me for what? To show off? Because, look, we're not going to get on the cover of Bridal Magazine no matter how amazing the wedding is. Oh, no, no, you're wrong about that. Bridal Magazine is often featuring same-sex couples as long as the pace level. It's beside the point. I was not doing it to show off. So why were you? Because it's the last thing you're ever going to need from me. And so I wanted to be perfect. What are you talking about? You're marrying a guy who's capable and decent wonderful and he's going to take great care of you so my job's basically over come on dad you wish dad don't say that i, I don't know the first thing about being married well neither do i i'm going to you know i mean it's not like i was an amazing husband yeah i guess but you are an amazing father and one day i hope to be one too so i'm gonna need your help and guidance that would be so cool i'm always gonna be my best friend okay i just I don't need you to make everything perfect. Deal. Deal. Would you like some green tea? Ooh, yes, please. Did we need this Owen TK scene or what? Hey, son, you don't always keep the bag in the cup, do you? Yeah. What? 
Well, it makes the tea acidic and it stains your teeth. Here we go. Have I taught you nothing? Thank you so much for watching with me. That was as chaotic as it could possibly get. I love you guys. That episode was fucking awesome. Natasha, you crushed. So much great, Tarlos. So much great, Andrea. So much great, Owen. And and uh, very much um, uh, an ending that I feel like I needed, the audience needed, a heart-to-heart with Owen and TK. Um, I, I know we've been all craving it, and I'm so happy we got it. Um, and trust me, there's a lot more coming. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. This was a very chaotic experiment. I think it went pretty well. Live tweeting, live watching, live Instagramming. Instagram living. Yeah, I can speak. I love you guys. You're the best. Happy 50th episode to everybody. Holy shit, we have 50 episodes. Um, you know, I wrote a little heartfelt thing earlier, but it, it is truly a remarkable moment and an opportunity. Um, we, as actors, are lucky to get any sort of gig, let alone a, a massive hit TV show. Um, you know, I've been on pilots that haven't been picked up. I've been said no to hundreds of times. And to be on something like this that people love and watch around the world... And we're, we are now up to episode 50, and we're shooting way past episode 50. Um, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are the fucking best fans in the world. Excuse my language. You guys are the best fans in the world. I love y'all. Um, West Coast, enjoy at 8 p.m. I love you. I love you guys. Ciao.